So even if you have the best controller, where you place the CO2 sensor is important for the function of your system. So here's a sensor we see like right here, wired system goes right to a controller box, but where you place that in your grow facility is important to ensure that the controller can work as efficiently as possible. So it's important to remember that carbon dioxide will sink because it's heavier than air, so it naturally wants to go to the bottom of a grow space. So some growers like to inject it over their plants, kind of at the top, and let it kind of work its way through the plants as it will naturally fall through a system. This is also important to keep in mind when you're looking at mounting or placing your sensor in a grow facility. So sensor placement is key. Where you place your sensor is important to ensure the proper evaluation of the grow space environment. Remember, the sensor is only going to be as good as where you place it. Be aware of exhaust systems, as I have here, a carbon filter for exhaust, uh, the points of injection, have the tubing here, air circulation, such as the fan uh, or other fans that you may have, and the positioning of the plants and how that may impact certain aspects of the um, carbon dioxide and air in general environment. So while there's a whole bunch of different situations, I'm trying to give you the main idea here. Uh, so ideally a sensor should be above the point or points of injection. So again, this tubing comes down here and runs through here is where my CO2 is injected. As a result, my sensor is placed above that, meaning because CO2 is going to sink, it should fill up this area and this will kind of give me the assessment above that. If I put it below here, as soon as CO2 starts injecting, it might be might get a false reading because of the CO2 naturally falling by the sensor. You also want the sensor below your ventilation. So as I mentioned, my ventilation is at the top here to help exhaust the hot air. Um, so as a result, I don't want to put it above that because if that's pulling out CO2, um, I don't want it to be trying to fill the entire grow tent. Also, you want it generally at plant height. So I chose to kind of with the upper portion of plant height here. Um, so that's also an important consideration. Also, may want it in an area where it's getting some fed or some mixing after the fan or circulation that you have in the grow facility. So while each is unique, these are some general ideas to keep in mind to ensure that your carbon dioxide sensor is accurately placed to allow efficient enrichment of your grow space with carbon dioxide.